powder keg ski mountaineering race has become one of the most important skimo races on U.S. soil. It's one of the largest ski mountaineering races in the United States, and this year's event featured three days of racing, starting with a sprint Friday night, followed on Saturday by the individual race, and finishing Sunday with the longer, more technical teams event. Powder keg has been around since 2003, but it has been gaining steam recently. In just two years, it's grown from a one-day event to a three-day event. This year was the biggest yet. So we had a couple distinctions this year in addition to Vert Fest. We, uh, we were also the North American Championship race and also we were in the ISMF, which is the International Ski Mountaineering Federation sanctioned race. So really kind of stepped up both what we had to do to organize the race uh, as far as the logistics, the courses that we had to put together, but it also increased the level of talent significantly. So all the fast racers from Canada and the US kind of all came together to what is probably one of the most, if not the most competitive race ever held in North America, so it was great. We saw some fierce competition in all the race divisions, but especially in the elite categories, as the elite racers were competing to take home North American championship titles in each race category, as well as the triple crown title, which went to the overall men's and women's winners from the weekend. Jason Doré snagged the men's North American championship title in the sprint race on Friday evening, but it was John Gaston of Aspen who took home the triple crown title for the men, topping the podium in the individual event on Saturday and then winning the technical teams race Sunday with teammate Max Tam. On the women's side, Janelle Smiley took top honors in two categories. After winning the individual race on Saturday, Smiley and teammate Lindsay Plant stood on the top step of the podium for the team event. Hot on her trail were endurance powerhouses Gemma R. Rebo and Stevie Kremer. The level of competition was probably the most that I've seen in the United States. It was, I mean, we had a stacked field with Stevie and Sari and Gemma and Mel. And so all of us towing up the line knew it was going to be, it was going to be a difficult race. Janelle arrived too late to race in Friday's sprint race, putting her out of contention for the Triple Crown title, which ultra running star Stevie Kremer ultimately took home. This year, for the first time, the Powder Keg partnered with Vertfest, a multi-stop mountain festival that combines schemo racing, on-snow clinics, music, and libations to raise money for regional avalanche centers and to promote snow safety education. The momentum behind Powder Keg is unlikely to slow anytime soon. The next step is to attract some international talent. Obviously our goal is to, at some point, hopefully bring over some of the European athletes to come over and race. So getting the sanctioning is kind of the first step in getting some of the international recognition from the racers, but also in um, kind of building the relationship internationally to, to help continue to grow it at an international level. As more and more people head into the backcountry, ski mountaineering races will likely continue to grow in popularity here in the United States.